you know, we talked about this a little early, but it is fascinating. Uh, there is a video game, Assassin's Creed 3D, that maps of Notre Dame in enormous detail uh, of the cathedral. This was two years in the making, and apparently is so impressive that those who administer and they are in charge of the cathedral itself keep copies of it on hand because they find it to be a reference point. Game World News Entertainment host uh, Tian Wang uh, says it's obviously going to be very helpful in trying to retrace what might have been there and what isn't there or they can't account for. Uh, the detail on this game by almost all accounts, Tian, is remarkable. Do you, do you know much about it? Yeah, it's really fascinating. You know, Assassin's Creed Unity was a game that was based during the French Revolution. And all of the games in the Assassin's Creed series are known for creating things with a lot of historical accuracy. So the senior artist for this game, Carolyn Muse, like you said, she took about two years to create Notre Dame. Like, it's a one-to-one -one recreation, and she collaborated with a historian. And for the most part, it is pretty spot on. Now, the thing that I do want to mention that's interesting is that a lot of Notre Dame is actually protected by copyright. So there were some things that they couldn't get exactly right. Like if you go into Notre Dame, there's a very impressive organ within the cathedral, and they had to make some aesthetic changes to it. And also, you know, Assassin's Creed is one of those video games where it's very acrobatic. You kind of swing around from location to location. So they added things within the cathedral to facilitate the gameplay. But for the most part, it is very spot on. Yeah, I remember myself having visited there a number of times. Um, Apparently, they were shouting at me in French uh, not to take any pictures, <laughs> and I kept taking them. But my wife understood exactly mm. what they were saying and saying, hey, you yes, idiot, stop it. But they're very, very <laughs> guarded about it, and they, I, I'm sure they remain that way even now in the rebuilding process. We do know of a lot of precious pieces of artwork, statues, and others that were getting out of there or moved out of there before um, uh, ahead of the renovation. But that isn't mm. evident in the game itself, is it? Yeah, because the game was actually set, you know, around the time of the French Revolution. So the interior looked a lot more different. They had to populate it and do certain kind of creative choices with it. Um, but I think that it's just, it's going to be a very useful, uh, useful resource for them when they go about reconstructing Notre Dame. The thing that was also very interesting about it was that when they created the spire in Assassin's Creed Unity, they actually used the modern version of Notre Dame spire. During the time of the French Revolution, that spire existed, but it was in a much smaller form. Form. So in retrospect, when they're looking back and trying to make repairs to the cathedral, it could actually be useful because they actually have the modern spire there. All right. You know this is going to be bad news for kids around the world who are going to remind their parents, uh, see, they're using this for advanced studies and rebuilding an old <laughs> cathedral, so I should continue gaming. That's essentially what you're saying. Well, you know, it's very <laughs> tricky because when you're looking at games like Assassin's Creed, these are AAA level games with huge budgets. And a lot of times, there's a real demand for games that have this kind of historical accuracy. That's the reason why Assassin's Creed is very popular. There's another game coming out called Ghost of Tsushima, which is going to be based on a recreation of feudal Japan. And I feel like games like that, that can tell a compelling story, that have this high level of presentation, I would say that it is pretty much indistinguishable from art. And as you can see in this situation with the fire at Notre Dame, there can actually be a lot of historical relevance as well. Yeah, you know, you're right. Tian, thank you very, very much.